Hey guys, welcome back to another art lesson. Um, I hope you all enjoyed our Vincent Van Gogh Part 1 activity. I really liked you all going in and just drawing your rooms and being able to label things. That's just going to help us with today's activity and realizing how many things that uh, Mr. Van Gogh adds to his drawings, how many details he puts in there. And so if you didn't get a chance to, I know that where we had a short week, some of us on Monday, Tuesday have art and we didn't get a chance to do this activity. So if you didn't get a chance to do it, just go back and review it. You don't have to go back and do it again or um, anything like that. Just go back and review it because it'll help you get prepared for this activity and you can just review the, the videos and things like that. All right, to start us off, I want to say thank you again to our parents. Um, I know that we're doing another week of virtual teaching hopefully soon we'll be able to get back in person and make it a little bit easier for you all but for right now we're just thankful for your all's patience throughout this process i'd like to hit on our uh and announce our artists of the month so i got to decide i looked back on all of the month of october and everybody's work and i picked uh, four brand new artists of the month and they're going to get their prize and as i've talked to you all about the prize it's uh, it'll be some type of sticker that's personalized to them and they'll get their certificate that I laminate because I laminate it because it's just a little bit easier for you all to keep them it doesn't get all mushed up I know when I was a kid when I got certificates they would all we put them on the refrigerator and about two weeks later they had stains on them and all kinds of crazy stuff on them so uh, laminating I think it may make it last a little bit longer and you all get more joy out of it so you all get those things but for our artist of the month it is Tori Saylor Lawson Fain, Finnan, I'm not sure how to say his last name, Dalton Isaacs, and Molly Smith. Now, like I said, I picked four total, and I pick them throughout all grades. Here we have a second grade, a kindergarten, fifth grade, and a fourth grader. And so we, I pick it throughout all grades. But that's our Artist of the Month, and they did a great job this week, I mean this month. But if you all didn't win, that's okay. Don't worry about it, because I'm still looking, and that we're going to have four brand new ones for this month of November, and we'll keep having four brand new ones every single month so you all keep trying your best and i will make sure that we all get a chance at being the artist of the month and get our personal prize all right so we're going to start in today's activity unfortunately i don't have our document camera so i have to switch this camera over and so there will be a brief moment where everything's kind of moving around but we'll get back into it and then i won't be able to move it back because it'll be too difficult to get it back to the right way but we're going to get started into this week's activity and learn a little bit more about Mr. Vincent Van Gogh and some of the techniques he uses throughout his drawings, his paintings too. All right, let's switch over. All right, so as you all know, you've seen this painting before. Some of you have. It's Starry Night by Mr. Vincent Van Gogh. And so this is what today's activity is going to be based on is Mr. Vincent Van Gogh's Starry Night. And so, as you see in here, he, he, uh, there's a type of weather here. And what type of weather do we see? Well, the first one, the biggest one we see is wind. The, these swirls are meant to uh, show us that it's windy day out there. So it's a really windy day because the wind is swooping through the air. And so that's why Mr. Van Gogh does these swirls because he wants to create movement. He wants to look like the painting's moving. And so that's what we're going to practice today is doing swirls in our own drawings. So Mr. we know now that Mr. Van Gogh likes to do movement in his paintings. So there's the movement, right there's the wind. But he also likes to create flowers throughout almost all of his drawings, his paintings too. He uses some type of flower. And here you see we have li uh, lilies all over the place and they're blue. And we got orange ones in the back. So we have all types of different colored flowers here. All right, so that's what today's activity is going to be. I want you all to create your very own uh, flower field, and then you're going to create it a windy day. So I'll show us exactly, we'll practice how to draw the swirls. So here's some swirls that I already made up for you all for, as an example, but I'm going to show you how to draw some new ones, okay? All right, let's fix that from the camera real quick. It's acting a little funny. Don't want to keep doing that. There we go. All right, so let me, so as you can see, it's just, you can do three, however many swirls you want to do, but this just shows that we're creating wind. So that's what today's activity is going to be. And I'm going to pull out my pencil, and I'm going to do a demonstration on how we can draw our own swirls. So first you do one like that, one like that, and then as you can see, they're really close together. They connect, and that's our wind. And you can add all kinds of lines to them, 
to make them look like they're moving. But for you all, I just want you to try to do three, at least three swirls to make it look like it's a windy day. All right. And as you can see, I already drew my flower field. All right. So you see, I got my, my flowers down here. And you see, my, I got my wind up here because it's a really windy day. And then I got stars because it's nighttime and the moon. So this is what I want you all to create is this drawing right here. I want you to create your, all your flowers, a windy day. And it doesn't have to be nighttime. It can be daytime or whatever you want. But we're going to practice labeling again. So you're going to point, to, you're going to take it, and you're going to label everything you can. So here I have stars, the moon. I'll even label my wind. Flowers. So we're learning some new words, if you haven't seen them already, how to spell some of these words. And um, once you've labeled as many things as you can, and you can add all kinds of different things in here. You can add people. You can add all these things if you want. But I want you all to practice drawing these swirls for our wind because it shows us that we know how to draw types of weather. And we'll learn how to draw other types of weather, but for right now, we're just going to stick to wind. So it's a windy day in our flower field. So that's what today's, this week's activity is all about. Now, I'd like for you all to be able to use color if you can. Now, I understand for sure that I know that some of us don't have colors at home, and that's okay. So I want you all, if you don't have colors at home, like I said, you don't see any colors on my page because I don't have colors. I don't use them because I like to be fair. But if you have them, use them if you have them. And use all types of colors like Mr. Van Gogh does in his Starry Night. You see he uses a bunch of blues. He even uses some yellows, some oranges, things like that, some white. So he uses that type of colors in his, but that's not all you have to use. As you can see, he uses in his flowers, you got greens, yellows, oranges, reds down here. So he uses all types of colors. But if you don't have colors, all I want you to do is to so we can learn how to spell some of these new colors or learn a little bit about new colors, is I just want you to point. So here for this flower, I might make it a yellow flower. So I want to label it as yellow. And then my, let's say my wind, it's going to be blue. Okay, and then let's make the stem on my flower right here. It'll be green. So that's what I want us to do, is we're going to create our very own windy drawing. And so once you've created the swirls for the wind, the flowers down at the bottom as your flower field, we're practicing, that's two things that Mr. Uh, Van Gogh does in his drawing. So we're learning a little bit more about Mr. Vincent Van Gogh. And so once you have that, go and label as many things as you can, like I did, the wind, stars, moon, flowers. And then if you don't have colors, label them. If you do, I still want you to label them just so you know how to spell these words. So if let's say you did color these, I want you to label them as well. So that's this week's activity. I hope you all enjoy it. I hope that uh, you all get to learn a little bit more some of these videos that I attached to, the, to these activities. Um, and let me switch the camera back so I can say goodbye to you all. I'll try it. <laughs> Alright, so that's this week's activity. I hope that it was easy enough for you all, and I hope you have a lot of fun with it. Mr. Vincent Van Gogh is a really cool artist who uses a lot of movement in his paintings, and as you can see, we learned a lot about wind today. So we're going to learn how to do those swirls in our drawing. That's it for this week's activity, and I'll see you all next time.